basically I'm going to show you all how I rig up the saltwater pole. I'll hook up the tandem rig to the base of the pole so it doesn't tangle with the two hooks. I start with a swivel at the top connected to the cork and that connects to the tandem rig. If I want to take off the cork, simply disconnect it. And add the tandem rig to the swivel. Now I'm ready to fish the bottom. I use these double barbed hooks. I kind of custom paint them myself, but uh, I could use any size I want. Th uh, 3 8 ounce is my favorite. And um, I got 20 pound big game tied on. And this is a double circle knot right here. I'll show you all how to make that in a second. So. Tie all my lures to a pool float. Then to double make, to make a double uh, circle knot, you start at the top, you make a regular circle knot, where you just come through, just like that. But sometimes it'll slip if a fish is tugging from one side to the other. So I'll go again, one more circle, and I'll tighten it at the same knot. And then it's ready to clip onto the swivel and it will never slip or pop. Unless it's a big one, of course. So I could rewrap it real quick. Now when the fish stop biting the plastic and I want to try some live bait, I just take out my weight leader that I make circle hook at the top, clip that to the swivel, my weights are on, I can choose any size weight I want depending on the current and the wind, I like using the smallest weight possible, then I clip my pre-made kale hook leader to the hook, to the um, weight leader, and there we go, I got my Carolina rig ready to roll, ready to put out and catch a fish. So, on this one I have a number one size hook with lighter line, but if I want a bigger hook, I could simply change it out. I could rewrap this one. I'll hold the circle knot to the float and I'll wrap it around the circle knot so it doesn't slip off. I'll hook my hook in. And I could take a bigger hook and stronger pound test if I need. Now, if I want a lighter weight, I can just take that off and clip on a lighter weight. Now I have my bigger hook and a lighter weight if I need. And if I want to fish with a cork, I use just a regular slip on cork with two pins. It'll keep it from tangling up. Put that on. I can slide it at whatever depth I choose to fish for suspended fish. And then my favorite way of fishing is with top water or spoons or rattle traps or any kind of hard bait lure. And I could easily put those to work by taking my main swivel, taking out my top water lure, top dog being my favorite, or a she dog or a top dog junior, they all work well. And I clip it on and it's ready to fish. If I tie these top dogs to the regular Power Pro, it's so flexible that sometimes it'll get wrapped around the hook. I find the monofilament leaders work way better without getting no tangles around the hook while fishing. And there you go. Just by using the swivel, I could fish any type of, well, pretty much any type of saltwater lure. Now the other thing I want to show you, you want to avoid using these swivels with the little clip on 
I find they straighten very easily. And on a big fish with the drag tightened down, you'll lose your fish because the swivel will straighten. So I'll use the ones that wrap around the swivel itself, and I never have any troubles with these. When fishing a tandem rig with a cork like this, is to always stop your cast before it hits the water. If you don't, your tandem rig will probably get all twisted and tangled around your cork. The reason why I don't like a weighted cork is because if my baits are both suspended like they're supposed to, the cork will sit like this. If one's on the bottom, it'll sit like this. If both are on the bottom, it'll sit like this. That way I know the depth of the water if it's too shallow and I'll tend to get stuck less or I'll put my lure in a more productive area sitting in deeper water, which is why I don't like a weighted cork. The tandem rig will really offset any of the lightness from the cork and allow you to cast far. The other thing, I like using two sets of beads, which gives plenty of noise. Same thing with the bottom, with the weights. You can hear the beads clicking, and sound travels way faster and further underwater. Of course, in a circle, so fish could easily hear it. So in muddier water or when the fish are further away, you could attract them to your log bait or your plastic uh, by popping it. So for the majority of the day, all I'll lose is a few of these little hooks on a full day fishing. But because I have extras made, I never have to tie a knot. My corks, my weights, and everything, and my swivel and my main power pro probably will never get broken off because it's a much heavier pound test than the hooks. So I find this is the most efficient way to fish salt water.